Hello my soccer universe to a slightly different unpacking video, the kind where I made a surprise for someone and uh, that someone is going to unpack my video. Now, in this case, it is again Matt that I already did one mystery box earlier this year. And he said that for his birthday, and he will explain it in this video. I don't want to uh, give away too much, but he basically said um, to me, and my friend Idris, uh, do you guys wanna buy me, uh, you know, make a mystery challenge for my birthday? He had some money and yeah, so we did. And so I went out and I think I found a pretty interesting shirt. The budget was around uh, 50 pounds, 50 euros, somewhere there. And yeah, without further ado, I'll meet you on the other side of the video to some commentary from my part, but I really think you should watch Matt's video first. Hey Roland, how are you my friend? So, um, package has arrived. Um, excited, excited, really excited. So, um, yeah, thanks Roland for taking part in this second challenge we've done together. So this time it's my birthday. Well, actually it was my birthday about two weeks ago, but um, really appreciate it. So the background is every year, um, my mum who suffers from Alzheimer's, um, gives me some money to, to treat myself, uh, for my birthday. So, um, usually I, you know, there's something, uh, to spend the money on, usually a night out, maybe doing something with my wife, maybe doing something with my children. But this year I thought, you know what? treat myself to a football shirt. But then the challenge is, well, what shirt do I buy? What do I need? What am I looking at? Should I be spending that much money? It's always a difficult one. Or maybe other years I've just put the money away and it's sort of, I guess it's got spent on day-to-day -day stuff, shopping, maybe some nice beer, some nice wine, some nice food, whatever. But anyway, this year, let's do something different. So this is the first of two birthday gifts. So Roland in Austria has kindly spent half the money. And then Idris, um, who you'll know through Roland's channel in France, has spent the other half. So I've got no idea. My, my only brief to the guys was, look, if it's my birthday and you're going to spend my money, which quite frankly, it's easy to spend other people's money, um, get me a classic, get me a shirt that captures a moment in football history, football time. You know, that could be, I mean, you know, I don't know, they, maybe they've got me a Liverpool shirt from a, a particular um, moment in their history. Maybe, I don't know, Let, let's not guess. Um, or maybe it's, it's a club final, or, you know, a major European final. Or maybe internationally, it's it's something you know, a, a classic tournament that we remember. Um, yeah, I'm probably I'm probably not going to get a Euro '96 England shirt within this budget. I don't think. You never know. So anyway, so Ronan just sent me the package. This package has been with me, I think, for about a week now. But I was waiting for the two to arrive. So let's go. So I'm feeling inside. <clears throat> and there's a letter. So we'll come back to that. So we've got a nicely wrapped package. Interesting. So let me try and open it without breaking anything. Let me see if I can find a natural point. Yep, there's a natural point there. So Firstly, what we're going to go with Okay, nice Well, I don't know, maybe, maybe Roland knows me a bit better than I thought but I've got a second love for Spain um, and what you won't see behind the camera over there I've got all my La Liga shirts but this is I'm going to say we're, going, we're, going, we're going, probably going back 10 years plus, aren't we? I'm trying to think. 
The date, the date's got me at the moment, but look at that name set, David Villa. What a great name set, number seven. And actually what's brilliant about this shirt is I love sort of the gold, you know, um, classic Adidas, but you've got the triple gold um, arm bits there, but that corresponds nicely with that name set. And I think what really, um, really sets the international shirts off here is, you know, I'm thinking actually about England shirts gone by with like the centralized number, but you've got the seven there and it just balances the shirt with the crest. And I'm a, I'm a great lover of the Spain crest. So that really is, that's great. I've got, I'm trying to think what else I've got up here. I've got another Spain shirt up there. I don't think it's as old as this one. Um, but this is great. So it's going to be from a major championships, isn't it? So 2008, possibly 2008 Euros. Who knows? But there's another shirt. And I think the second shirt <laughs> might, might just give it away. Look at that. So now, now I think it's coming together. So I think from memory, the 2008 final between these two teams, wasn't it? Because my best mate, so my best friend who I met at university in Liverpool, when we were at university together, and we're, we're talking the late 90s now, um, met a Spanish girl and he moved to Spain and he subsequently married her. He spent his entire life out in Spain uh, we keep in regular contact, even though he's an Evertonian and I'm a Liverpool fan, but um, friendships are a lot lot deeper than that. But I remember when Spain won the Euros, um, just remember talking to him and his wife and the sort of joy and elation as a nation. And I guess the closest I came to that would have been last July in the Euros, um, but we didn't quite get that over the line. But look at those two stunning shirts. Um, they are fantastic. So let's, let's read the letter because there wasn't a brief to get two shirts. Although Roland did reach out to me and uh, said, look, I might have a, a little surprise for you. So let's see what we've got. So dated May the 31st. So I was already 48 years old. Happy belated birthday, Matt. I assume that by now you already had a first clue at the two shirt, a glance at the two shirts. We have Roland, very nice shirts. So I wanted to give you a bit of a background on why I chose these two. One, obviously, these are the Spain and Germany shirts worn in the final of Euro 2008. While well, more was an option for choosing another pair, I thought since the tournament was co-hosted by Austria, that there was a nice connection here with me. Absolutely, well, well out lateral thinking. David Villa was, in my opinion, the best player I could get a name set for, and he was the top scorer of Euro 2008. Didn't, didn't know that, there's a fact. Um, the, only, the only slight issue is he didn't play in the final. By the way, did you know that Spain played all their matches in Austria? There you go. I think that both shirts have very pleasing designs, very classic Adidas, aren't they, of the, of the time. Uh, Spain is quite plain, and I always like that Germany shirt, despite it being, well, German. <laughs> to, to be honest with you, I, I've got a couple of German shirts, not this one. Um, and actually, I, I don't think there's a German design I don't like. I mean, that is very, you know, they are unmistakable colours, aren't they? And, and as for the, the, the simple nature of the Spain shirt, no, I mean, I think the gold and the red, absolutely. I really had hoped that both shirts were in XL. However, the German shirt is only youth XL. Still, I think it's a nice piece of history. Hopefully you're enjoying these shirts and once more a belated happy birthday. They are great because I think the reality is I, won't, I don't wear a huge number of shirts. I wear my Liverpool shirts and a few others, but these will looking at the detail there there's a lot of nice detail there and do you know what sometimes you can pick up extra large youth for for good prices and i mean actually this looks that's that's bigger than an xl youth i mean that's that's verging on that's verging on medium i think um so actually if you're a medium that, that would fit in 
But Roland, thank you so much, mate, and uh, thank you for my birthday gift. Um, I've no doubt that you have spent that money in a far better way than I would have. And there I've got it, another name set for the collection. Cheers, my friend. Matt is very engaging, isn't he? I, uh, he's, he's done a brilliant job unpacking this and I'm so happy that he enjoyed these jerseys. Now, uh, a little bit post, <laughs> post commentary from me. I almost messed this up so badly uh, because he initially, when he said it, I completely misunderstood what he meant because I was in, and I am just getting out of this fog where I was really, really, really busy at work. Um, and you know, in my, in my prior priorities, it goes uh, family, work, my teaching, my channel, although the last two are sometimes a little bit intertwined. Um, and so g getting to outside, I'm, I'm always a little bit, uh, I, I can be completely out of it. And in this case, I wasn't, I, I again apologize, Matt, for a totally misunderstanding. I don't want to give more details because it, it's just embarrassing. Uh, so that was the first thing that I really was, uh, <laughs> I, I was embarrassed about, but I almost messed up two more times. You saw the Germany shirt was a tad small. I was looking at this and, uh, there was this woman who was selling two of these for, I think a total of 15 euros or something like that. And I said, Oh, this would be such a nice add on. I got the David Villa shirt. I can add this one on and we have the two shirts from the final. Yes, David Villa wasn't playing, but it would be perfect. And. As a bonus, I get the same Germany shirt as well, which I actually didn't on one side necessarily need because I have already two Germany home shirts. On the other side, uh, that's a Euro 2008 jersey and you know Euro 2000, 2008 is always something that I would like to have. So in that sense, uh, it would have fit the bill and honestly, I really do like this uh, jersey for some reason. This is one of the better Germany jerseys out there. So I even, you know, uh, since I bought both, a woman sent it to me and assured everything XL. Nope, they were youth XL. And I should have measured. And I told her, you know, I'm sorry, this doesn't really work, unfortunately. And I wanted it to be a surprise. I uh, communicated okay, with Matt, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm messed up here. But he said, now, thanks, you know, a shirt it is a shirt. And I'm really glad that, Matt, you do like this one a whole lot. So, um, again, sorry. The one, <laughs> mine of that, so I had two of these. I found some uh, taker for that one as well. So, you know, in the end, it was not a big loss. But uh, I, I, I was still quite mad about that one. Because, you know, I, I have the same Spain, Spain shirt. Doing a few measurements would have been all fine. Okay, well, uh, and then how did I mess up the third time? Yes, um, he did this video right around the time that I went with my family to watch Austria play France. And I think I kind of, you know, um, in the stadium, I was briefly scanning messages and I thought uh, he said, yeah, great message, uh, great uh, stuff and so on. But, you know, I was not concentrated. And then, you know, uh, next day we went to the zoo, blah, blah, blah. And I, it completely passed me by and I didn't see uh, also an email to be honest and then it reposted his video and that one is also linked up there so for you uh, if you wanted to see what it risk got um, Matt two really amazing shirts you can watch this here then I uh, actually uh, contacted him and said did you film this as well did I miss this again yeah and then he sent it and we got it done. And so I said, um, usually I would know, make this, uh, you know, unpacking videos I want to do on Monday or Sunday uh, uh, afternoon uh, for the time being. Uh, but I said, I'm going to fast track this one uh, because it should have been out a whole lot of time ago. So, yeah, my apologies, Matt. Um, I was not in my best shape uh, these past few months, but I'm getting out of it a little bit. And I'm, uh, again, so pleased that I could again find something that uh, you liked. And yeah, that you uh, liked Spain, liked Spain's races. I did not know that, uh, but I was very happy that this worked out. In any case, please 
follow Matt on his Instagram, uh, support his cause. It's a worthy cause. Uh, I think he has, uh, you know, you can uh, donate old jerseys to him as, as, as well that he uh, gives away for a uh, charitable cause. So that's always a cool thing to do. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed our collaborative video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos featuring me, maybe other people as well. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.